Hi everybody, welcome to Southern Comfort Ramblings. I'm Kelly Lee and today we are going to make crab and bacon peppers and it's a great summertime appetizer or a little light lunch, whatever you like. Um, very, very easy to make and I have had raves on it. They really like it. I'm going to get right into the ingredients. You're going to use sweet peppers and or jalapeno peppers. I use the sweet peppers with the red and the yellow just for color. And I did get four of the green jalapenos just for a little heat for the, my friends that like that. We're also going to use one brick of cream cheese, eight ounces. You're going to want this softened. Um, it makes it easier to stir in. You're going to want eight ounces of claw crab meat. I just use the store brand. It's good enough. It tastes delicious and it's pretty fresh. Um, we're going to use one medium red onion. Uh, that's going to be diced very small. We're also going to use barbecue rub. I happen to like the Weber chicken and rib, but you can use any kind of barbecue rub uh, that you have, a local one. Um, it's just going to be for kind of a garnish taste to it. One of the other last things is, is sticky fingers. I, this is my favorite, so you can get your favorite. Uh, I like the Tennessee whiskey, and then there's the Carolina sweet. But once again, you use what you like in the barbecue sauce. It might be a local one. The most important ingredient that you're going to do while preparing these peppers is disposable gloves. You're not going to want that juice under your nails and wipe your eyes. So those are the ingredients. We're going to start preparing now. Okay. Now we're going to start with the peppers, and you are going to leave the stems on the peppers. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the peppers and just simply cut them right in half. If you can get stems on both sides, great. If not, that's fine. You know, do the best you can. Once again, just cut those right down the middle. And you're going to do this for all of the peppers. Okay, so you're going to do that for all 20 peppers, and what I found handy is these bar spoons. They're, they're tiny little spoons, um, and I found that they're the best for getting the seeds and the insides out. And basically, you're just going to take it, and you're going to scrape it, and you need to scrape it all the way down. You want to get it all the way down to the meat. You don't want any white in there. And you're going to do this for all the peppers and you're going to wash them out and get all the way up in the corner so you can get all those seeds and just scrape it all out. After you're done with uh, scraping them out, you are going to want to wash them, as I was about to say, and just put them on a, a paper towel that way down so that they can get the water out of the inside so that they're not soaked. But you're going to see all this meat. You just want to take all that inside out, all the veins, all the seeds, and just do your best. There's going to be some seeds in the corner, but that's all right. That'll come out when you wash them. And you're going to come out with all of your peppers looking like this so that they're nice and clean. They don't have any veins any seeds and they're pretty dry um, so that we can start the crab mix. So that's the next step and we'll be right back to do that. Next step is we're going to take the onion and I'm going to use the mandolin again. Um, if you don't have one of these, buy one. They're in Walmart. They're pretty much anywhere. I'm going to use the teeth side so that we can get a good minced onion. Make sure that's down in there. You're going to put the onion on the holder and you are simply going to mince. You just go back and forth. And the reason, once again, that I like using the mandolin is there's a lot less mess. And that's all minced up and we did that in less than 30 seconds. Okay, the next step is to take your brick of cream cheese 
and you're going to put it in a bowl. You're going to take your crab meat and just dump it right in there. You're going to take your onions, same thing. Just go ahead and dump it all in there. And then you're going to take your barbecue seasoning, like once again, whatever you like, and you're going to do one tablespoon. I can pretty much go by sight. So you're going to do that, and you're going to put that aside because you're going to use some more of that later. And what you're going to do is just squeeze and mix. It's going to be easier to use your hands than try to use um, a spoon. So you're just going to keep mixing this up just like this until it's all one big mixed. Well, all right, so we have the cream cheese mixture all done and it's really mixed up well. Um, it's good, it's uh, kind of sticky, so you want that. And what you're gonna do now is you're going to take your baking sheet and once again, I've used the Reynolds non-stick. Um, it's best for this because you don't want to add extra grease um, that the Pam or whatever you spray it with is going to be. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the peppers and you're just going to stuff it. That's pretty much it. You're going to stuff all the peppers in there and you might have a few bigger onions. You can take them out or just put them in. But you're going to stuff the pepper just slightly overfilled. And you can go back and add later, uh, depending on how much crab mix you have. You're just going to lay them on the, on the sheet right now. And we're going to do these with all the peppers. Once again, just keep shoving it in. Make sure you get down in those corners. You know, I, I take my time and I just kind of squish it in. And then I'll add some on the top. You see those big pieces of onion. I don't mind those. I'll just put them in, put some crab on top. And you're just going to keep overfilling them a little bit. That's a lot, but I can also bring that down just a little bit so that it's even. And you're going to do these with all of the peppers over here. So I've made a bunch of these. Um, I'm not going to make all of them because I have a function later on tonight. You can stuff all of these and do the prep work that I'm going to show you in just a minute um, the day before and cook them the day of. So they do well in the refrigerator overnight and sometimes they even taste better. So you're going to take the rasher of bacon, you're going to cut it in half because you only need half slices. And you're going to take one slice of bacon. You're going to take your pepper and you're just simply going to stretch and wrap it. You want the pepper covered so it looks like that. And you're going to do this with all of the peppers. Okay, so we've got the peppers all in their wonderful bacon coats. We all need to have bacon coats. And we've got the oven preheated to 350. We've got our Weber um, chicken and rib seasoning, uh, barbecue sauce that we like, and we put it in the crab dip, you remember, but we're also going to take it and sprinkle it on each one of the peppers and just kind of give it a very light coating so that it's, you can see that it has the color in there. And then you're going to take your barbecue sauce. And I mixed the Carolina Sweet and the Tennessee whiskey uh, sticky fingers that we have at our local store and I mixed them up in a bowl. I'm using that little spoon again. You can use whatever you want. You can brush it on and you're just going to put one little coat on each of the peppers. That's the recipe right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to put it in the preheated oven at 350 and we're going to watch it until the bacon's done. Sometimes it takes around a half an hour to 45 minutes, or if they're smaller pieces, they might take less. Okay, so the peppers are in the oven. I've got the other peppers over here, all ready for tonight, 
and we're going to do something a little bit special. Um, since it's the birthday Baconlicious weekend for my husband, I'm going to make him another one of his favorite bacon uh, appetizers, and it is simply barbecue chicken wrapped in bacon. Um, my store had a special BOGO on br uh, boneless breast chicken, and of course we have the bacon, and we've already got the stuff out with the barbecue and the spices, so we're going to do that. I'm going to show you the quickest, easiest recipe ever in between waiting for the peppers. So you get a bonus this time. Take one of your breast of chicken. You can take your kitchen shears because it's much easier than using um, scissors. And you're going to simply cut the meat into strips and just do it right there on the Reynolds Wrap um, foil and just keep cutting. We're going to cut all the meat this way. Okay, so we've broken down the chicken a little bit. Um, any jar, you know, large pieces you can cut down a little bit because obviously you want the chicken all about the same size. So if you get a big piece, you can just cut it in half and make a smaller piece. So you want to make the chicken pretty much all about the same size. And we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to give it a good coating of the barbecue seasoning. And then we're going to wrap each one in bacon. So do that and we'll be right back. Okay, so I have most of the bacon wrapped. Some of the bacon fell apart, so I just laid it out on top. And I'm going to, once again, we're going to mix some of the barbecue sauce in there. And I'm going to put some of Bill's favorite, the Carolina Sweet, and mix more of that. And you're going to do the same thing. We're just going to put a little bit of barbecue sauce on. doesn't have to be pretty. So that's it. We just put it in the oven now. Well, we're finished. Um, everything was done well. And we have the chicken. And we have the crab. And we have candles. Because it's Bill's birthday. Happy birthday, Bill! Yay! So blow out your candles, because I made this just for you. Happy birthday. And which one are you going to try first? Mm, mm, mm. Is that good, good? Good stuff. All right, here comes the crab, and they're hot. So I guess you'll take a small one, huh? Small one. Mm. <gasps> Thank you, darling. You're welcome. Happy birthday. Y'all wish Bill a happy birthday. Thank you for coming by. I hope you enjoyed the show. Go Pirates. Um, remember to share this with your friends on Facebook, Google+, uh, Twitter, and uh, all of the other ones. And it's been great having you. And bye, y'all. Bye, y'all.